Hey guys, this is Colin with Anytime Fitness in Kalamazoo on Stadium Drive coming at you today because I really want to talk to you about intermittent fasting. And the, the big thing that I want to just say uh, to everybody out there, like so I, as a trainer I get uh, you know bombarded with, oh, I, can I, should I make this change or I want to do this, this, and this, and there's a whole host of things that people feel like they need to change right off the get-go, sometimes even before they can even get in the gym. And uh, I just want to just briefly just kind of say, if you are looking to make a lifestyle change for yourself, you want to get healthier, you want to improve your fitness, um, you have health, exercise-related goals, do not try and do too much too soon. You will overwhelm yourself and you will burn out. With that said, I think that intermittent fasting is one of the best things that people can do uh, to get started moving in a healthier direction. Now, if you were to ask me, hey, what's one thing, only one thing that I could do to improve my health, my recommendation would be intermittent fasting. Now, to, to tell you a little bit about intermittent fasting, it's not necessarily a diet per se, it's, it's a dietary pattern. What I mean by that is your, your pattern of eating is consolidated from throughout the day to an eight hour window. That's the goal. I don't necessarily recommend that people start um, intermittent fasting and only eating in an eight-hour window right off the get-go. I, I recommend that people kind of progress themselves in that direction. So, like for an example, would be uh, rather than having breakfast right when you wake up, wait an hour. Next week, wait two hours, or continue to push breakfast back as far as you feel like you can without. Um, feeling extremely hungry. Now, the common complaint, too, with intermittent fasting is that, um, you know, you just feel hungry, you feel groggy, like your, your blood sugar is low, you get hangry. I promise you, when you start practicing this on a consistent basis, your body adapts, and you will find a level of energy or uh, at least just you know steady state focus that you you haven't realized it is even capable without having food. It's astound. It's been astounding for me to now be able to go to like two or four o'clock having eaten nothing and still feel a strong sense of mental clarity, focus, engagement in my job, and not feel like oh man I need to be eating something in order to keep my energy up. Your body will adapt and adjust. It's a very efficient machine. For some people, it takes longer than others to um, go through that uh, adaptation and adjustment. And so that's why I recommend a slow progression of trying to push your first meal of the day up later and trying to take the last time that you eat and lowering that time as well. If you can shoot, let's say for, you know, you go to bed at 10, you wake up at about 6 every day, shooting for that first meal to be about 9, and that last meal to be about 6. Okay? Right there, you're at 9 hours, you're almost close to the 8 hour window. And then slowly kind of chipping away at that first meal, or even that last meal, whatever is easiest for you. Uh, there are people in this gym, uh, of which I will probably eventually interview so that you can kind of hear about their experience, that have lost major weight, like I'm talking 20 pounds or more of weight, just doing intermittent fasting, not necessarily even changing their diet um, and you know, cutting out all the bad stuff and trying to bring in good stuff, which I, I'm a huge advocate of, you need to clean up your diet, but if you can only do one thing, intermittent fasting is incredibly beneficial and will help you lose weight. So um, stay tuned, I'm going to post a few more videos about the benefits of intermittent fasting and how intermittent fasting actually helps you lose weight. Stay tuned.